When you think of sports on North Broad Street and college, you generally think of basketball. Big five battles on the hardwood. But what if I told you about battles with the hard ball? LaSalle baseball has been around since 1931. Over those 90 years of existence, teammates have become friends. Friends have become brothers. And now all that is in grave danger of going away. Last September, the university announced in a statement that they would be reducing the number of their teams from 25 to 18 at the conclusion of the academic year. Among those teams being dissolved, baseball. Yeah, in America, baseball being dissolved. The reason being given by the university, quote, their existing sport offering structure was no longer a sustainable model for success. They went on to stress this wasn't a cost-cutting decision, but their department is undermanned and spread too thin. Well, rather than sit back and just accept this decision by the university, LaSalle baseball alumni stepped up to the plate, most notably James Santore, who got on the phone immediately and started making moves. All right, uh, let me let me ask you this first, Kevin. Uh, what does LaSalle baseball mean to you? LaSalle baseball means to me uh, lifelong friendships, brotherhood, um, guys that I will keep in contact with for the rest of my life. And what does save La- LaSalle baseball mean to you? Save LaSalle baseball, I would probably say it means to never give up. Um, they're kind of doing something that's unheard of. They're breaking records that have been set for 36 years. So I would say Save LaSalle Baseball is just about not giving up and not taking no for an answer. What uh, was your reaction when you first heard the news back in September? Uh, I was kind of shocked. I uh, I didn't see it coming, and I know that they were really good, and they were talking about how good they were going to be. So it was just very shocking. If you could say one more thing to LaSalle right now about Saving Baseball, what would it be? Just look at the record books. <laughs> just can't take them away. Good enough. And add to them, obviously. Yes, sir. All right, how about, how about you? What, uh, what, what would you say to LaSalle right now in order to try to save your baseball program? You know, I think what the guys are doing on the field is incredible. Um, something that, you know, probably stands out from LaSalle Athletics Department right now um, in terms of, you know, all the programs that we have. Uh, they're probably at the top. They probably are at the top right now. Um, and with, you know, Coach Miller's done a great job and the recruiting classes have been, have been you know, amazing. And we've got such incredible support behind us that, You know, if you bring this program back, I mean, this is a team that might be hosting the Atlantic 10 tournament and hasn't made the tournament in seven years, eight years. So um, think about, you know, what you're eliminating in terms of, you know, positive publicity. As Kevin mentioned, broke a 36 year old record. Uh, You know, you have guys that are just going to be probably freshman All-American for sure. Uh, You're probably going to have the uh, A-10 rookie of the year. You might have the A-10 player of the year on the team. And effectively, we're telling them to go find a new home. Uh, what does LaSalle baseball mean to you? Uh, it's hard to put that into words, Mark. I mean, I have incredible friends in, from that. I, I consider them all family. I was the best man in a wedding this past weekend of a LaSalle teammate. Um, you know, and, and particularly, you know, you could say, hey, you could go get that somewhere else. You could go get that in North Carolina, Virginia, Maryland, whatever. I think for me as a homegrown Philly kid, Staying in Philly was big. To get a Catholic education and play in front of my family was huge. I uh, grew up big A-10 guy. And to put on the LaSalle uniform and play in front of my family in Philadelphia was something that I'll never forget and something that I want kids to experience. Mm-hmm. What does save LaSalle baseball mean to you? Never give up. You know, someone tells you no, just never give up. You know, fight for what you believe in. Awesome. All right, well, best of luck to you guys, and uh, thank you for talking to me, and yes, we'll sir. get this out hopefully by the end of the week, and uh, we'll have some fun with that. Thanks, awesome. Mark. All right, this is from a Temple guy, so. <laughs> thank you. I only, half, I only half mean that. No, uh, <laughs> it, it, it's, it's awesome. Thanks, guys. Um, the number I was looking at was, it, it, you guys have already raised $2.5 million? You have access no, so to? We, we've raised 600000 or have 600, pledged uh, $600,000. And then, so what we were told, so the very beginning was $100 million. That was $100 million to bring back all seven sports, as said by the president. Oh, okay. Yeah. So okay. it was $100 million. Then when we did the pizza review with Portnoy, it was $15 million. And that was like $9 for million. For all sports? $9 million for baseball, $6 million for softball. Like, that's kind of how they were discussing that. <laughs> then it was $9 million just for us. So when we started to get, you know, a lot of the publicity, the big thing people asked was, is this a possibility? Like, if we actually raise the money, will we get the program back? And when I went back to the school and said, hey... 
what's the best way for us to do this? Because we have people that want to donate, but we need that number from you. And at the time they said, the only number we can publicly give is $9 million. So you can imagine my reaction when I'm like, look, I literally have people that want to donate money to this program, to this school. And I had to throw out a $9 million number there during a pandemic when there's a time when a lot of other money needs to go other places and $9 million is an absurd amount for any team, let alone anything at this time. So they told us it was basically funding the team in perpetuity. Um, so $300,000 for 30 years with like 3% invested. And I was like, look, this team is going to be good. They had two top 75 recruiting classes the past two years. This year they had a top 50 recruiting class, which all kind of went away because they cut the program. So I said, look, let us show you that we can make baseball a big part of LaSalle athletics and a big part of LaSalle's community. And I think they've been able to do that themselves this year by showing that everything that we thought was going to happen was going to happen in terms of success on the field. And now they have 32 wins, the school record, and they've really proved not only to like LaSalle, to the alumni base, but to the world that they are a very, very good baseball team with a bright future. So it's been a crazy path to get to this point. And like, if the team wasn't having success, I don't know if we'd still be having this conversation because it may have died out. So it's been absolutely crazy. All right, so when you think to yourself, let's you know, save LaSalle baseball, what is coming to mind? Because I know it's not just baseball. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's really, it's a way to get LaSalle to the next step. I think LaSalle's had a, a tough time trying to figure out what it is in the sense of it's a great school, great history, but it's in a, small part of North Philly, and they haven't really done much to innovate and change the way they do things. So for us, we saw this as an opportunity to say, hey, LaSalle's in a place where they're struggling financially, they're struggling with enrollment. One, baseball brings in 40 students a year, which is great for enrollment. 23 of them are on the, in the business school as well, which is brand new. And they bring in five to $600,000 a year to the school. Now, the athletic department doesn't see that money back to them, but that's not our problem. Again, like that's kind of the thing. They bring in money to the school and how they allocate that is up to them. But we want to show that, again, we can raise money to help increase the, the opportunity for baseball to be talented, getting them new facilities, kind of giving them a better experience, but also using that as a means of helping improve the community as well. Um, so we started a foundation called the LaSalle Legends Foundation back in December, which really would operate the team, but also be able to host camps and really do really cool things to show that LaSalle baseball can use sports to do good. And all the while making LaSalle a more, a stronger brand nationally, and especially in the Northeast, because there's no powerhouse baseball team in college baseball in the Northeast. And we've showed this year that we can be that, especially if we're giving a lifeline here. Of course. Now they make the announcement in September, right? Last September yep. that they're, ne they're gonna do away with a total of nine sports and baseball is gonna be one of them. As a alumni, as a, someone who has been a pitcher for this program, what was the first thing that went through your mind when you found out that LaSalle baseball was most likely going to be going away? Yeah, it was uh, absolutely shocking. So my roommate, Joe, knocked on my door. I was on a call for work, and he said, look at your phone. And I know like that's never something you want to hear. It's right. like, look at your phone. Yeah. Like, oh, God, all right, here we go. So I look at my phone, and it says LaSalle baseball just got cut. So I was absolutely shocked. Like I just didn't know how to react because I think like we've seen it happen with a lot of small private institutions. Like, it's hard to operate a lot of teams. It's hard to do this because schools are struggling right now. Um, so I think we've always kind of been like, man, that would suck if it happened. Just never thought it would happen to us though. Um, or at least never prepared for the moment. So when it happened, the first thing we said is like, what can we do? So we, held, we hosted a town hall meeting with as many alumni and as many people that were interested in helping the cause as possible. About how many people were on that? I think 65, 75. Wow. Um, and we did it in a day. So it was like, hey, we want to make sure that we can get as many people involved in watching this as possible and that can give their advice. So for me and Joe and Kev, who have really been the ones running the overall like Save Us Out Baseball operations and campaign, we wanted to get the word out of why this was important. And for us, like we all went to LaSalle, we're all local kids. LaSalle gave us all an opportunity to play Division One baseball and to meet our best friends. It's really just have like this unbelievable experience of really being a true student athlete. So we felt like we needed to make sure people knew that, hey, this small school that not that many people know about deserves this opportunity to get saved. So right away, our strategy was to try to get to big media. And we were able to get to Dave Portnoy within like two or three days after that. <laughs> so it was an absolute whirlwind of like, here's the strategy. How can we execute to getting lucky? Honestly, it's again, we worked hard to make sure we got his attention. But we got his attention. We got to do a pizza review. On LaSalle's campus, it was unbelievable. And I always said, like, no matter what happens, 
the fact that the team and all these kids got the chance to be on a Barstool Pizza Review, <laughs> I think like that is going to, the least will have that. Like it was, it was a really cool experience for everybody involved. We had a ton of views on that, a ton of people talking about it. And really was like a way for people to realize that, hey, people care about LaSalle. You should care about these guys. And that was kind of the kickstart we needed. And then I was told I really wasn't allowed to associate with Barstool anymore because there was differences in opinions of, you know, yeah, like there always is of mm -hmm. people didn't like some of the things they do. But I mean, honestly, Portnoy came with us, tried to help out, help us out. A week later, he saved running terminal mar market. A week after that, he started the Barstool Fund. So obviously we didn't create the Barstool Fund, but we helped create the blueprint and the idea for it. And it sucked that we never really got to lean into that and figure out a creative way to have Barstool get involved with us. Because I think if we're looking at the demographics of who's going to come, come to LaSalle, it's Barstool's audience. And they could have done something that not only helped us out as a baseball program, but helped the school out and helped the community too. Um, so that was tough. And then from there, it was getting a $9 million target number. And then from there, it's been trying to be creative and raising as much money as possible. And we're at $600,000 right now, pledge, which is honestly pretty impressive and not really getting any help from the school as far as what that looks like, as far as the plan forward. But we know we can save it if we get enough attention and if we get enough money. So, Well, if you guys can have 65 people on a call almost immediately yep. when, you, when the news breaks, not planned, just spontaneously. And then you guys, you guys can get that many people to show up for a pizza review, right? <laughs> yes. uh, then obviously the school knows that there is a push to save this program beyond just a, a catchphrase, save LaSalle baseball. Absolutely. So what has the school told you since you've been having these meetings, raising awareness, and most importantly, raising money to help save LaSalle baseball? Yeah, so we, we got to present in front of the athletic board in mid-April. And that conversation was, I kind of, saw it coming in the sense of no matter what we did at that point, unless we had two or $3 million, it was probably going to get shut down. So our approach was at that time we had $350,000 raised and we had a bunch of other unique opportunities to bring to the school to help again, innovate and increase um, enrollment and bring new curriculum to the table as well, which would then further increase enrollment. So I think it really is a dollars and cents thing. And I understand that. And again, that's where I wish we had a true number that wasn't $9 million to get to. But we were turned away for a chance to go in front of the full board and present our case um, after that meeting on April 15th. Um, and again, I kind of saw that coming. But the one thing I wanted to get out of that was for a $9 million number to be substantiated. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're going to tell me that $9 million number and then my audience is parents, players, alumni and the general baseball community. If you're going to throw a number out like that, you need to kind of explain how you got to that. Because you know what? If you can explain $9 million and it makes sense and there's backing to it okay, you know, maybe there's just nothing we can do and that sucks, but that never happened. And I think for me, like my most important thing that I can do is at least give clarity and like hopefully make understanding, hopefully make the parents understand like what's going on because yeah. it's tough. They just have so many questions and nobody's answering them for them. It's not an arbitrary, like, as of right now, in your mind, because it hasn't been explained properly, 9 million seems arbitrary. It seems like a scare tactic in a sense of like, hey, this is what it is. You get to it, great. If not, it sucks. All right. So are they firm from the, your understanding? Are they firm in the 9 million or have they knocked that down at all? So we were told that they relayed to the board that the number was 1 million to kind of get back to the board to have the conversation. Okay. And 2 million would most likely get it back. So the problem is, again, that's great. And that gave us hope in the sense of, I think we can get there. But I think we can get there if the school gives a public backing or even a private backing that I can use for big donors. Mm -hmm. And that hasn't happened. And instead it's been, hey, we continue to raise money. We continue to get attention. We've had big players want to donate significant sums of money. But honestly, I haven't even gotten a text back since I've been asking for that. From, from LaSalle, from, from the LaSalle. university. Yeah. And again, I'm doing this. I think the most impressive thing I'd say about the way we've handled this from all of our side, from just LaSalle baseball fans, alumni in general, we've been pretty tame. I mean, this is a really difficult situation. A lot of money is at stake. A lot of kids' futures are at stake. And we haven't gone and attacked the school. We haven't done any of that because we don't want to. Mm -hmm. We love LaSalle. We want to make LaSalle better. We want to keep LaSalle baseball. But at some point, they have to work with us and see that. Because, again, they're winning on the field. There was a national post yesterday. There was 12,000 likes on a post that was put up on a college baseball uh, Instagram. People are seeing this. and People are pissed off. The more they hear this story, it's like that is unfair that they're not giving us a chance to raise money for the school and for a program that already makes money. And that's the best damn program in LaSalle's history. 
Well, uh, and on top of that, you guys get the season in September, you would think, oh, the players packed it in, they're, everyone's leaving, nobody of, sub, of sub, substance is staying. Yep. But it's like, oh, no, you guys just have your best season in, what, like 35 years? Yeah, and it's, it's really a testament to Coach Miller and a testament to all the players because it's been so much fun to watch as an alumni. And, like, we talk about this all the time. I wish we weren't in a situation where it's like a do-or-die mentality because – I wish I could enjoy this because it's everything we wanted and worked for when we were there is to get to this type of level and improve the program. And they're doing it in real time right now. And they lost nine players after the decision was made. So if you're thinking you lose, you know, almost right after the decision. So even with those nine guys gone, they still went on to have yep. a great season. And they lost a few starters, few, uh, they're starting shortstop, a few really big relievers. I mean, they really got decimated by it. Um, and instead, they are the best team in the Atlantic 10. They have a chance to host the playoffs at LaSalle for the first time ever which would be my favorite thing ever to be able to go back there. One, to be able to see another game at the Hank. And two, it's just, again, they deserve it. They've done, not, they've done such a great job of representing the school, of doing everything that somebody, that a South student athlete and a South student should be doing is persevering, working super hard, and doing everything possible to win games. And they're doing that while having a 3-1 team GPA of representing the school. Again, the team and the players and Coach Miller have done a great job of making sure that they haven't made it about like it's about it's about them, but they're doing so in such a great way that's not making the school look bad. If you could sit in front of LaSalle one more time and the people that will be making this decision, what would you tell them? Like if that camera right over there, yep. that was LaSalle and you were addressing the board, you have another opportunity to do that. What would you tell them? People care. People want to help this program and we can do it. I think we need the opportunity to be given this program back, be given a few years to be able to show that we can start making this a self-sufficient program and then growing it. Because again, right now, it's awesome. We're first place in the A-10, 32 wins. We still have a weekend left. But this is the beginning. We don't have an indoor facility. We don't have the facilities that a lot of our competitors have. Let us help build them. Let us fundraise. Let us get back to the community. Let us do all these things and show that LaSalle baseball deserves to be here and can be better for LaSalle. And again, we're doing all this because we not only care about LaSalle baseball, but we care about LaSalle. So we are going to work until this comes back. And I've said it before, like, I will, until I die, I'll be working to bring this back. So it better happen for this team because this team deserves to be at LaSalle as long as they want to be at LaSalle. But it's going to be back sooner than later, mm -hmm. no and matter what. Have they saved any of the other nine sports they were attempting to eliminate? So they saved sw men swimming and diving, and it's definitely a different situation. And I'm, I'm so happy for them. I mean, it's sure. awesome. Again, I hope to be in that same situation, right. be celebrating with them in a few weeks, a few months, whatever it is. But they had a shared staff shared facilities, so it is a little bit different, and the costs aren't as much. But we've raised more money than them. Mm -hmm. And again, I think that our case should be brought back to the board and have that further conversation because we can't just be thinking about right now. Mm -hmm. Because again, we have $600,000 pledged right now, which is great, and that will like, significantly help the school in the short term. The students alone, baseball and softball, because softball most likely will have to be brought back because of Title IX. Mm -hmm. That's 70 plus students, and that's probably around $750,000 to the school, just from bringing these sports back. On top of that, you have the great PR move of bringing baseball back at a time when they're better than ever. And we can continue to write this narrative. It's a, it's a Hollywood movie right. in, in right. waiting. <laughs> and it's like, I, LaSalle needs this PR. They need this chance and we have everything ready to present it to them. So well, we just want that chance. Well, the interesting thing is like, again, nothing against swimming and diving, but like, this is America. You know, <laughs> we need baseball in America. And that's, and the baseball community has really stepped up for that too. That's and I great. think it's, that's, Again, the biggest thing for us is to highlight how great this team is because again, we wouldn't be able to have this conversation right now if they were two and twenty-five. Right. Because again, they they caved in and proved the university that they don't deserve to be there. Exact opposite. They deserve to be there. We need to make sure people know that they are this good and that they are the perfect team to save because they've done everything right. Every step of the way. Uh two two more for you. Um from your last conversation with LaSalle. How did you leave it? I said, I actually, I told the AD that I hope we're talking again soon because you know I'm going to keep trying and I hope that next conversation goes a lot different. How was that received? He said he knew. He said he, he knew that wouldn't be the last time we were talking. And he said that. And I said, and I think, again, I, I'm not mad at the school. I'm not mad at anybody specifically. I think the biggest thing is that they made a decision they thought was best. I understand that. I respect that. But we've showed that there's more here than the decision they made. And maybe they need to revisit that. The president resigned that made the decision. The regime's different. Revisit the idea. Give us the fair chance. Don't give us a $9 million number. 
we'll make it happen. So I said, look, we're do I'm doing this for the right reason. Right reason. We both want to make LaSalle better. Let's do it together. So uh, uh, that's, that sounds great. And I'm obviously, I'm rooting for you. Have you talked to any other schools like Temple went through something similar a few years back? I had friends that were upset about that. Uh, have you talked to anybody else that's been through something similar? Yeah. And I think every situation is different. Bowling Green, just same thing happened. They brought back the program with one and a half million dollars. Um, Towson a few years ago, they were public, uh, public schools, so the state stepped in. Um, but there's a lot of programs right now, and we have spoken with a few of those guys. I played with a few of the guys on those different teams, and every situation is different, and LaSalle especially is different, and that's why we're approaching it from a different perspective of PR. Is, uh, the value is there, from and PR, the money we're bringing to the table, and then just the team in general and helping with enrollment. Like We're bringing a different opportunity than a lot of other schools have. All right. This is probably the toughest question I'll ask you, but what was a better experience for you in your life? Was it having a slice with David Portnoy or was it having a catch with Mark Farzetta? Uh, having a catch with Mark Farzetta, but the pizza that Dave and I ate was pretty damn good at the ah. Explorer's Den. So if you, did, right. if you brought pizza, Mark, I mean, come on. Yeah, it's the one time I actually showed up at a place without pizza, actually. <laughs> All right, awesome. Well, I can't thank you enough for talking to us and you know, best of luck with with getting LaSalle baseball saved. I know that's what the endeavor is right now and that's yep. the goal. And I know with your fortitude uh, and your determination, uh, LaSalle baseball uh, really has a bright future. So I, I will be rooting it, for that and rooting for you. Uh, thank you, and thank you for the uh, the opportunity and using your platform to speak out about this. It uh, means a lot to a lot of people, and that's just want to make sure that people know that. So thank you very much. Absolutely. Great. That's awesome, brother. Thank Appreciate you so much. You, man. Appreciate you. Thank you. If you would like to help save LaSalle baseball, reach out to James Santore at Santore43, that's S-A-N-T-O-R-E, the number is 43, at yahoo.com. Or you could visit their GoFundMe page at Save LaSalle Baseball on GoFundMe.com.